Hey, welcome back. So let's see how we can actually remove a user from the table. So this is uh, easy peasy though. Once somebody clicks, they're going to go with the remove confirmed. So all we have to do is duplicate this part right here. I will duplicate that. And then I will put an else like that so that it's else if here. Now here it's remove confirmed like so. So if remove confirmed is true and I'm admin of this page, then I have free reign to remove. So here we're just going to put an action to remove the user and then write um, a message that uh, user successfully removed. So let's do an echo here before that. Say this user was successfully removed from the group exclamation point like so so now naturally we have to get this part as well and put it here so that they they still see which user was removed afterward so I have two break tags there and there we go so now of course I haven't removed anything but I just want to show you that it will work so if I click remove and define variable remove where on line 13. Okay, so let's see that on line 13 there. Okay, so this one should be removed confirmed like so. Mm -hmm. Refresh. Yeah, there we go. So this user was successfully removed from the group. And then back we can put a uh, one of these there down here uh, I need to put the echo obviously echo let me simply copy this put it here okay so instead of cancel we are going to put back okay so refresh mm -hmm. so there's back there now, uh, if you don't want it to float, you can remove that floating there. Then it goes to the other side. So, same thing. So, if I click back, I click remove. Are you sure you want to remove? Yes, remove. And then this user was successfully removed from the group. So, everything seems fine except that it doesn't actually remove the user. So, now that uh, is easy to actually add. So, we just have to do a... Uh, add something here the same way we are doing uh where is this if i go inside uh, wait there's a user class there's a post class and there's a group class right so what i want to do is show group here just to see if the group class exists uh wait a minute remove remove okay so it's a group object which is good so it exists very nice so we can use that group now and say remove member so to do that now we have to uh, open the group.php class so group.php class and right here we have get um, you know what do we do here Invite to group. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for one which is closest to what I want to do. Maybe get member or something like that. And it doesn't seem like there is one. Okay, so it's not a big deal. We can create our own here. I'm just going to say public function remove member and then we just get the user id and then we get the group id of course 
So we have two things there, the group that we want to remove the member from and the actual member that we want to remove. Okay, so easy peasy there, right? Now, all we need is new database like that and a query. So new DB and we'll run our query. So let's create our query here and we're going to say query is equal to. So I just want to sanitize these two boys and here is equal to add slashes and paste those boys in there. So I will duplicate this so I can use either. I'll do that, remove that, I will do that, remove do that. Okay, so they're now sanitized. So let's create a query. And in this query, I'm going to say, okay, so here we have to look at the group ID and the user ID. So once we find that record, we set disabled to one. So we don't care whether the record exists or not. We're just going to run that query just in case it does. So I'm just going to say update, um, is it group members? What is the table name? Yes, it is group members. So group underscore members set disabled is equal to one, where user ID is equal to, of course, the same user ID. And those two should be true. And group ID is equal to group ID, like that. Yeah. So I want to limit it to one, just in case there were a few rogue records there, they'll all be disabled. So set disabled is equal to one, blah, blah, blah. Where user ID, okay. So. It seems this is fine. Now, there are times when I want to remove the actual admin. I want to remove myself as the main admin. Oops. So, in those cases, my record is not here. Because keep in mind, there are three members here, if we look closely. And yet, in the record, there are only two members. That's because the third member is the owner, the creator of this group who resides in the user's table because the group is this one. It's bird watching, isn't it? My first group, that's the one, this one right here. This is the user ID, but the owner is right here. So there should be a way to remove the owner, for example. Now, I'm not going to put uh, safeguards here where if the owner removes themselves and there's no other admin to administrate uh, the, the group, um, I'm not going to put those safeguards. I'm just going to show you how you can actually remove even the owner here. Because once we remove this owner, then it means there's no more uh, owner here. Now, I don't want to give it a zero because what we would do to remove the owner here is just to remove their user. Uh, uh, what's this? Their user ID from here. Now, if I give it a zero, then it doesn't look like it's a group anymore, even though there's group there. Just in case we used uh, a zero to represent non-group posts here or entries here, what I will do is maybe change it to a one or something, because I know for, for a fact that there's no user ID with the ID of one, so it would be equally uh, valid as long as it's not a zero because there are some if statements that are used where if it's a zero then it's a profile so we will just change that into a one or something else so in order to fix that as well we can just blindly set a query that will do just that so we'll say update users and then set owner is equal to one where user ID, nope. So the user ID here is that group name. So where user ID is equal to that group ID. 
here I can put limit one just to limit the damage in case that there's a mistake. Okay, so these are two blind queries here. They just run just in case. But I remove the second one because I do not want to uh, remove the admin just yet. So what I will do is say remove member here, copy that, and then I will go back to my uh, group content members right here where I'm supposed to do this. So I will run it probably here. Okay. So since it's a blind query, it doesn't matter whether the user exists or not. But of course, we will have to run it on group like that on the group class remove member now the group id and user id here are interesting we have the user id there but group data here underscore data is the one that has the user id the group id there is like that and then the user id is the one inside get remove confirmed and I will paste that there, like so. Let me go back to the group uh, class here. Okay, I think everything seems fine here. So let's give it a test run, shall we? So let's remove this one. Click, are you sure? Remove. And it's saying the user was successfully removed. Back. And as you can see, the user is no more. So is it uh, working very, very well? So if I now go to my uh, group members, I will notice that there is a one on that disabled. But I don't want to remove that user just yet. So I'll put it back at zero. And now I want to remove the actual owner. So if I click remove and click remove here, if I go back, I will still see the user there because uh, it didn't find the record where it's supposed to check. But if we went this way, it will find that record. Now, because I don't want to wreck everything here, so what I will do is go to users table and I will copy. Okay, it doesn't matter because this is the same user as there. So let's just give it a test run. So remove, I want to remove myself as a member. So remove, I you sure want to remove this user from the group. Yes, remove, successfully removed. So if I now go back, uh, as you can see now, I am no longer a member because it's saying join group there. And then I can't see the settings anymore. If I click here, I don't have access to that. Uh, I can see the discussion because it's a public uh, group, but I'm no longer a member now. Okay. So if I come back to my uh, users table, and refresh you see that now my id is over there so only another admin can actually add me uh, give me access back but now my record will be on the other table and not here so let me click edit now so that i can uh, put things back in order give the owner the rightful owner the access and now when i refresh i have ownership access Okay, so hopefully uh, you've learned something new there. Now we're going to deal with uh, editing access, which will be exactly the same process. And I will see you in the next video.